Thank you for joining us. Woo! I'm Manuel, and that strange noise you heard was Brian coming to you live from where, wherever the heck he is right now. <laughs> I'm in my room. And tonight, we are providing a service to you. Perhaps the most important play you've ever had the pleasure to witness. More useful than Hamlet? Slightly. I mean, who can't identify with being a prince and having the ghost of their father return and set them on a bloody path of revenge? It certainly helped me through my recent family situation. But could Hamlet teach you how to find toilet paper? No. Case closed. Will this place show people how to get toilet paper? I don't know about that. But without further ado, it is time for is to survive life in a quarantine. Oh, can we do that with a cool sound effect, please? We can try. That's all we're doing tonight. Bo Our slow. Ten ways to survive life in a quarantine. Method 1. Fall in love with inanimate objects. A great way to maintain sanity in these difficult times is to have a complicated relationship with the object. Let's see how Peter's doing. Yes, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And I'm negotiating quarantine very well. In fact, I prefer it because I get to spend time with my new best friend. Yoda. Say hello, Yoda. <laughs> He's shy. He talks when we're alone, especially at night. But now that he's in front of a camera, he climbs up. That's okay. I can do the talking for both of us. Even though we had both agreed to be talking on the camera. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm not upset or anything, Yoda. Not at all. What's that? Oh, I see. Now you've got stuff to say? Oh, but just to me? Just quietly? <laughs> if it's important, say it to everyone. Alright then. That's how we're gonna do this. You're just gonna make me look crazy in front of all my friends. That's fantastic. Anyways, Yoda and I have been getting along great. We go on walks from the closet and back to my bed. And sometimes, and this is really fun, we just stare into each other's eyes, like this. You're so beautiful, Yoda. No normally he says it back, which is nice. It's nice to hear that, you know, that validation of your feelings. But he's playing hard to get today, I guess. <sighs> Doesn't hurt. Am I not good enough for you? Is that what it is? Is that what you want to hear? Fine, I don't need you. I've got other friends. Uh, uh, meet Mr. Shark. Mr. Shark loves me for me. And I've been in love with him the whole time. Great to see he's improving. Doing a lot better. And now, Lou is going to share how his inanimate object gets him through the day. Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> Hello, yes, it's me, Lou. You might not remember me from school because I was always someone sitting in the back or getting stuffed into backpacks since we don't have lockers anymore. Or the one who sat out in gym class because I didn't like the outfit. So. <laughs> and I have a special message here for all the ladies. I know I'm not, I was on your radar, and I know I'm not the best looking guy, and you'd rather fall for Bryce, the quarterback of the water polo horse team or whatever, and yes, he's super attractive and nice, and, uh, and talented and all that, but I have something that Bryce doesn't have. Oh yeah, look at this, yes, this is the real deal, ladies, four-ply, 
This is your generic grocery store offering toilet paper that's lasting on the shelf. Oh no, this is pure white gold. This one like a cloud or possibly a Pomeranian. A cloud of Pomeranian puppies. You know what I'm talking about. And it could all be yours. This even has a picture of a baby on it. Why is that picture of a baby on toilet paper? Babies aren't just toilet paper. At least no baby side of her, man. Are they suggesting this toilet paper feels like a baby? Cause that's weird. Anyway, where was I? Wow, am I right? I'll be sending applications for new best friends after this. So, in the meantime, dare to dream. Dare to dream. I'll be your friend for. Shh. It's okay. It's over. I miss you, Four Ply. I miss you so much. It's time for our second method. Method two. Perform your own musical with your pets. That's right. You have co-stars at home with you. Use them, and you don't need to pay them except with treats. Eddie, show us how it's done. Hey there, I'm Eddie, and welcome to the most realistic production of Cats ever. This is Macavity, the mystery cat, and this is one... Uh, wait, where, where did that one go? Macavity will actually be playing multiple roles, I guess. I have more cats around here, but I think some are under my bed. Uh, come to Papa, Rum Tum Tugger. Ow! He's shy. I asked my mom if we could get 16 extra cats for this show, and she got in her car and drove away. And I haven't seen her since. I'm guessing she went to get more cats, but that was three days ago. So I'm beginning to wonder. Also, if you would like to bring cats to my house, that would be amazing. Just drop them off in a crate on my front doorstep, and they will be loved and hugged and thrust into starring roles in this production. Now, as anyone knows, cats is the story of the Jellicle Cats. This guy. Once every blue moon, the Jellicle Cats get together and enact a cat sacrifice on one of the cats, and the others just go on their way for no reason at all. They sing and dance, like this guy. Come on, baby, dance for Papa. Dance! They're learning, slowly. This is coming together. I just need a few more months and many, many more cats. Thank you. <laughs> I think that was better than the movie. Definitely. Beautiful. I want pets in other place from now on. And now, it's time for method three. A big problem is keeping yourself occupied. How do you spend time if not planning for revenge? Revenge on who? You'll find out. Julian has some answers for us in our third method. Fun with scissors or so much crafts. Welcome friends, I'm Julian. I'm going to show a wonderful way to spend your time in isolation. One thing that I need to manage stress in you, let's face it, stressful conditions. <laughs> a little joke there. I know it wasn't a great joke or anything, but sometimes it's the little jokes that aren't funny. And that's where the true humor lies. So, I like to do origami, 
which is a traditional Japanese art or technique of folding paper into a variety of decorative representational forms, such as animals or flowers. I learned that from the internet. I find origami soothing, so let's learn how to fold a paper cream, shall we? First, take a sheet of paper. Next, fold it. Then, you fold it again. And once more, just for fun. So much fun. Just an amazing, amazing amount of fun. And then, And I think it goes like this. Whoops, not like that. That was a boo-boo. That was a terrible boo-boo. Just an awful, awful mistake made by a person who's failing at this very soothing task. And, and, no, oh, not that way either. Does it look like a crane? It's a crane, right? This is a crane. This is a soothing origami crane, and I love doing this. <sighs> Actually, that part is soothing. I feel like I learned something. <laughs> I learned not to go over to Julie's house. It's nice to have a hobby. Venting is a great hobby. My favorite. And now, it's time for Method 4. I am good at sports now. No one can stop me. Remember when you were a child and you thought you were good at things? Yes. And then you encountered other children and you realized you were terrible at those things? Yes. Well now, without competition, you can be the athlete you always had delusions of being. I've lost a lot of money on sports. Did you know there were imaginary sports which can make people lots of money? Here we are at the final table of the World Solitaire Championships. As always, the young challenger Marvin Benoit has cut a swath of destruction through the field. Imperturbable, and so, so exceptionally handsome. He has had an answer for everything the card's thrown at him, and now it's down to this, the final table. And here comes the prize money. The largest purse for the World Solitaire Championships. Just over $11.4 billion. Enough for Benoit to write his ticket anywhere. If he can keep it together in his last, most intense hand of solitaire. And the first cards are coming down, face down as always. Brilliant form. Really, the kind of spectacular card placement we've been seeing all tournament. And here we go. You could cut the tension in here with a knife. Like a really sharp knife. Also an imaginary knife. You can really see the stress starting to show on Benoit's face. He can't like that. Not a good sign for Benoit. Oh, he's in trouble now. This is a bloodbath. I've never seen someone go down so deep after just two cards. You can tell the pressure is really getting to him now. Oh, he is reaching into the steely core for whatever reserves of sanity and strength he had. One... Two, three. Uh, oh my goodness, he is using the tried and true method of solitaire players everywhere by cheating when no one is looking. Did anyone see? No one has seen him cheat, therefore it is legal. And that is it. Benoit has won the championship. I'm going to Disneyland when it reopens. At some point. Woo! Also, I'm going to social distance six feet apart. Actually, I'm not going to Disneyland anymore. But I think about it. Woo! I'm excellent at solitaire when no one is looking too. 
You're only cheating yourself. That's why I win. But now we're on method five. The play is a William Shakespeare. That's Shakespeare. No, you heard me. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine own sword whilst I see life? The gashes do better upon them. Macbeth, turn, hellhound, turn! Macduck, of all ducks else, I have avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou losest labor, I bear a charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charms, and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee, Macduck was born from a duck. Oh no, shoot! That's right, sucker. Booyah! Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. What part of Booyah didn't you understand? Now what? But it's not just terrible tragedies that are fun to perform with stuffed animals. No way! It is terrible tragedies that are the most fun to perform with stuffed animals. How about a terrible tragedy where everyone dies? Just to catch everybody up, Frogius killed Hootlet's father and then married Queen Fertrude. Hootlet's father showed up and told Hootlet, Hey, I was killed. You need to go out there and revenge my death. Hootlet was like, That's crazy, man, but sure, Dad. And then Hootlet killed Bertiz's father for no reason. And so now Bertiz is like, Hey, man, you killed my dad. I liked my dad. And Hulit is like, I don't care, my dad's dead too, what? And then Hulit's girlfriend killed herself because Hulit was mean and now Bertiz and Hulit are about to duel, except Frogius has poisoned Lertiz's blade and he also poisoned the cup too, just in case Hulit was thirsty. Simple. Come Bertiz. Come my lord. One. Nope. Judgment. He hit. A palpable hit. Told ya. Didn't count. You missed me, dude. He just said a hit. A palpable hit. I didn't hear that. He said it. He totally said it. One. Oh, come on. I'm thirsty. No, Fertrude. Ah, poison. Shoot. I'm dead. Ah, no! Oh, villainy! Seek it out! It is here. Hootlet. Hootlet, thou art slain. The traitor's instrument is in thy hand. Unbated and in venom. The king. The king's to blame. The point. Envenomed too. Then, Venom, to the work. Ah, dang it. Mm. 
the rest is silence. Ah. And pretty much everybody else dies too. Well done. Greatest play ever. I think we had enough senseless death though. Method six. Catch up on your studies. Fun. Super fun. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> I'm Atticus, and I'm here to help you. <sighs> this is a difficult time for everyone, but I think the best way to forget about everything is to put your nose down and really focus on school right now. <laughs> I am, and I love it. I'm learning so much. Yes, I have three little sisters that are driving me crazy, but guess what? <laughs> I can lock and bolt my door and booby trap the hallway so they can't get at me. I just put some headphones on, dive into trigonometry, and ignore their little screams. <laughs> Numbers are my friends now. Speaking of friends, I'm actually running a special right now for math help. If you need someone to do your math homework for you, just email me and I'll do it. Because I don't want to do anything else. It's just math, 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 math all day here. <laughs> oh, so happy. Speaking of math. I'm only charging $3.55 per assignment. Then I email the assignments back to you. You put your own name on it and you turn it in as your own work. I offer bulk race as well. 10 assignments for $32, which is the savings of 10.94%. <laughs> Again, math. <laughs> I love it. Also, May is my special algebra sale. 5% off all algebra homework. Look for more. Hello? Sir, what you're, doing is illegal and can't be doing this online. you're saying that's illegal and I shouldn't be talking about it online? Oh, okay. I did not realize that selling math homework was illegal. This changes my business plan significantly! Let's see. Luckily, I've been studying economics so that I know when something's illegal, it becomes a lot more expensive. <laughs> Therefore, my rates have changed. $22 per assignment. Huh. I'll be using the extra revenue to hire goons who enforce collection policies. They'll be breaking your legs in a responsible manner. <laughs> this is so fun. Seriously, buy now while you still can. I'm your only hope. Without me, you're doomed. And you will not regret this. <laughs> It's good to see some of our students are putting their minds to brilliant criminality. It's really the American way. But maybe someone out there is really studying well. Hey, thanks guys. My name is Torrance and I'm here to show you exactly how great distance learning has been for me. Because uh, it's been a thing. It's definitely been a thing. Um, so for the first thing I do is I log into my email. And my computer is currently not on speaking terms with the other computers, so. But that's alright, because I can log in to access the help page that the district made. Which is currently offline. Um, so that's fine. So we can't get to that. And I forgot my password. Uh, so I can't get a new one sent to me, since there are like a lot of requests for new passwords or something. I don't know. I guess it's just only so much internet, and it just doesn't reach my house. That's cool. That's fine. I'm, I'm working through it. I mean, I'm mostly just trying to imagine what my teachers are trying to teach right now since I can't log into anything or get anything to work or get anybody to help me or yell loud enough so that the rescue workers can find me. Anyway, my teachers aren't signing any homework. Uh, at least my imaginary ones aren't, you know, since they're very respectful of my time and they want me to make sure that I have the best quarantine possible. Um, but I keep trying, you know. Kind of. A little. Giving your effort for a good five to six minutes and then just calling it. There's no use bashing your head into a wall over and over again. I mean, eventually you have to 
you know, admit that learning just isn't for you. And to be honest, it wasn't for me before this either. So I don't think my teachers are surprised that I couldn't log in. But my imaginary teachers, they're really chill about it. I'm really impressed. Oh, shoot. My connection's uh, screwing up. No battery, what does that mean? My heart just grew three sizes watching that. The children are our future. Terrifying. Which brings us to method seven. Get really involved in the lives of squirrels outside your window. With limited options for television these days, you can watch the wild kingdom outside. Shh. Don't ruin it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, darn it. I'm not there. But maybe they could come back any minute. So let me tell you about the latest updates between Kim and Kanye. It has been off the chain recently. So much drama. I can't even have the time. I'm watching and I'm like, I shouldn't even be watching this, you know? <laughs> this is intense. I've been taking notes, so here we go. They are so beautiful. Perfection. With those soft puffy tails and little noses. They don't have a care in the world. Such a beautiful happy home. Kanye goes out and gets the acorns and he gives them to Kim. She loves him so much. Day two. When Kanye was out today gathering nuts, a new squirrel appeared. Stanley. He's sleek and skinny like a sewer rat. I hate him so much. But he goes up to Kim. And Kim gave him acorns. No, oh, those were Kanye's acorns. He found those and she gives them to Stanley. Later, Kim comes home and where are all the nuts? Oh, Kim ate them all, I guess, you furry cow. But Kanye doesn't know what's going on. He goes back out because that's the kind of squirrel he is. He knows nothing. Day eight, Kim went out for acorns today, and Stanley stayed back. Stanley arrives, and it's on, y'all. It's like Squirrel MMA up in that tree. Get him, Kanye. Get that thieving rat up and down that tree. <laughs> Stanley will not be back, mark my words. Day nine, Stanley's back. <laughs> Kim gave him acorns. They are trash. They are so much trash. Day 12, Kanye's the king of trash. Kim went out today and two red squirrels showed up, Bridget and Jennifer, and Kanye was all about them. I've seen squirrels do things that I think squirrels did. I can't even with them. No wonder she was giving us to Stanley. Stanley's a prince. Day 15, Milo arrived today. Milo's one sweet looking squirrel. <laughs> They are all falling for his nonsense. Day 17. I can't eat him with any of them, but I'm still Team Kim until I die in them. Huh? Oh, who's his buddy sniffing around? Oh, this will not end well. I never knew squirrels have so much drama. I learned that nature is not boring. And now we come to the most popular survival method. Number eight. Sleep, live in pajamas, eat chocolate, and binge watch shows. Or, your weekend is now your life. Yo, I am here to help you with your physical fitness. Sorry, hold on. That took a lot of energy to vocalize that. All right, second wind. Woo. Are you ready to transform your body and your life? Don't answer that. I don't need to know. I'm just gonna assume that the answer is yes to me. All right, ready? I want you to take your weights. <clears throat> First, mentally prepare for what you are about to do. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Loosen those muscles. All right. And one, two, three. Release. And one, two, three. Keep going. You can do this. I believe in you. And one, two, three. Feel the burn. Uh, feel it. I believe in you. And one, two, three. Oh. Oh, sweet, fluffy kitten. This is difficult. Oh. One, two, three. Fight through the pain. No. Oh. Oh. All right. You did it. Now time for the recline chip press. And one, two, three. I love you guys. Stunning. I feel like these exercises were made for me. They give me hope. We can get through this if we don't do much. Exactly. But if you do want to do something, there's Method 9. Spooky stories. When we set out, we didn't know we were going to make it back. Our supplies were running low. We had no choice. No choice. There were rumors you could get what you wanted, but only if you waited. In line. Then you get a cart, and you were led into the Costco. But every so often, you could hear, if he wasn't close enough. But as soon as you stopped, nothing. Then you'd walk, Stop. Nothing. I realized it was a squeaky wheel on our cart. It was pulling us to the side. There was no way to go back and get a new cart. I had to fight it. It kept pulling and pulling. Where was it taking me? To the paper goods aisle? And that's when I saw... One single package of toilet paper. The one package no one wanted. I reached out my hand. Do I dare take it? Why was it left here? Is it... And I heard a ghostly voice. Raymond. I froze. No one was near me. Raymond. Who was there? Raymond. It was coming from inside the toilet paper package. Ah! But I took it anyways, because it's toilet paper, right? But every so often, when I'm in the bathroom, I hear. I'm single blood. Or. You can try a different oral tradition. <coughs> Speak memory of the cunning hero, the dog walker, blown off course time and again by the cruel whims of fate. Speak of Andrew, the chosen one, after he was asked by his mother to take Furry Gomer on a walk through the neighborhood. Speak of his failure to find a decent excuse Oh, cry, oh heavens, that it was also a little bit cold that day. Of these things, I shall now sing. 
O oh, muse, recall that Gomer pees a lot on every bush, on every tree, on every place from another dog has peed before him. And the sniffing, the most profound sniffing of many things, so profound the sniffing that no matter how strenuously brave Andrew pulled on the leash, fur Gomer would not be moved. Speak of the contemptible squirrels that mocked the beast that Andrew struggled to control, and their chittering like the sigh of 10,000 little teeth and their little noses and their little tails. Mighty was the wrath that Gomer felt, like the thunderous earthquake summoned by Poseidon. Gomer chased his long-tailed nemesis, but alas, alas, he could not reach them. Speak too of the social distancing that Andrew had to do on sidewalks narrow as a ribbon. How he nimbly dodged small children on razor scooters, and how he fought to keep furry Gomer from sniffing the rear ends of many hounds. So many rear ends of so many hounds. And last speak of the great calamity that befell him. Speak of the thunders dropping from well-fed Gomer. And memory the failure to remember to bring a poop bag. Tragedy! Luckily, brave Andrew ran away very quickly. That epic will be passed down for generations. Also, if you found Andrew's evidence, you can find him at... Of course! Of all the methods there is that is guaranteed to be the most effective way to deal with life in quarantine. Megalomania! That's right. The belief that you are the absolute center of the universe is a great way to deal with crisis. Let's take a look. Welcome to the kingdom of Jeff. It is I, Supreme Commander, Ruler for Life, and High Overlord, Jeff. Bow before me. Yes, I feel your obedience to my will. Good. I would like to draw your attention to some new developments in the kingdom of Jeff. The city of Jeffotropolis. Today is Jeff Appreciation Day. Have you told me how much you love and respect me today? Have you? I want to be clear that I am no longer in need of such things as the approval of others. I am beyond all that now. There is only Jeff. One moment. Mom. I'm busy. No, I'm not taking out the garbage. Do you know who you're talking to? I am Jeff. Overlord of the... Mom, stop it. You're embarrassing me in front of my subjects. Fine. The kingdom of Jeff is threatened, but the kingdom of Jeff is strong. We shall never surrender to the enemy. We shall never give in to fear. We are Jeff. At this moment, I would like to read the new proclamations which have been passed by the Assembly of Jeff. Of which I am 12 of the 13 members. The 13th member being Mr. Puppers. Mr. Puppers had some thoughts in committee, but he was outvoted and he is now being investigated as a traitor to the kingdom. Who do you work for, Mr. Puppers? Who do you work for? Speak! We have ways of making you talk. You'll regret this. Let this be a lesson to any of you potential traitors out there. Your kingdom requires obedience and sacrifice. Ask not what Jeff can do for you, but what you can do for Jeff. You can do a lot for Jeff. Learn the lesson of Mr. Bumpers, traitors. Ah! Sorry, your leader needs to take a break. Just remember that I am infallible and only believe me. Do not believe the lies of Mr. Bumpers. Seems healthy. He's gonna come out this okay. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, my awesome 
period one theater arts two presentation. We're so glad that you uh, logged on and watched. And if there were an 11th way to survive life in a quarantine, I would say you need to be blessed with these nine guys and Brother Rock and you can get through anything. Thank you again. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.